Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum, an internal medicine specialist, and today we're going to talk about natural treatments for hypertension. It's critical to look at the underlying cause of the hypertension, although in medicine most doctors don't really take the time to do this and simply throw medication at the person. But here are some simple things you can do that can help bring your blood pressure down and decrease or eliminate the medication. Now let's start with the nutritional support. Number one, magnesium, calcium, and potassium are critical, those three. Uh, these are minerals that help the blood vessels to relax and to help the blood pressure go down. You want to get 200 to 400 milligrams of magnesium a day, less if you have diarrhea. Uh, you want to also get calcium, about 500 to 600 milligrams at bedtime. If you don't need calcium, you don't want to take it. The research has shown that people who take calcium unnecessarily have an increased risk of heart disease. But for high blood pressure, 500 to 600 milligrams at bedtime, uh, preferably one that's chewable and contains vitamin D can be helpful. Also, potassium is very important and tends to be low in the American diet. You can either take a pill that has 10 to 20 milli equivalents, but what I recommend is a 12 ounce can of V8 juice and one banana each day. Uh, that will supply about 12 milli equivalents of potassium, which is a good amount. In addition, I recommend a supplement called Coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 is critical for energy production, and a subset of people, and I've seen it in people with very high blood pressure, where it dropped their blood pressure 40 points, um, have a CoQ10 deficiency. This is especially so in people taking cholesterol-lowering medications. I recommend a trial of six weeks of Coenzyme Q10, 200 milligrams a day, and I would use a chewable one by enzymatic therapy. Quality control is very important. For coenzyme Q10. Uh, the simple thing to do is to get a vitamin powder called the Energy Revitalization System, uh, take a calcium with vitamin D at bedtime, take a magnesium at bedtime because it will help you sleep as well, um, and take the CoQ10 with it. Now in addition, especially if you're overweight and your shirt collar size is over 16 and a half, look for sleep apnea which can cause the high blood pressure. Um, ask your spouse if you snore or stop breathing at night or simply videotape yourself sleeping one night to see if you snore and stop breathing. If you do, ask your doctor for a sleep study because the sleep apnea treatment will not just help lower blood pressure sometimes, but will help you feel much better during the day. If you're one of those with high blood pressure who tends to fall asleep and not off behind the wheel or during the day, look for sleep apnea. So these are some natural things you can do that are very compatible. You can take them and do these treatments with the medications that you're taking. In addition, be sure to exercise, because that will bring down blood pressure, lose weight, because that will bring down blood pressure, and avoid excess alcohol or coffee, or caffeine anyway, as those can also aggravate high blood pressure. So these are some natural things that can help normalize your blood pressure. I'm Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum, wishing you great health.